ನನ್ನ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಗಕ್ಕೆ ಇಚ್ಛೆ ನಮಗೆ ನನಗೆ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೇರಾ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಣ್ಣೆ ಕಾಯ ಮೈ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ Sujal Maestri is 10 years old from the rehabilitation camps in Sindhanu and he wishes to study a BBS and become a doctor. The rehabilitation camps house refugees from Bangladesh and Burma. However, due to the lack of citizenship, the children from the camps might not be able to pursue higher education. I am Bartha born and brought up here only. So even after that struggle and uh, Uh, I didn't even know how I could settle in my life in future but I only thing what I knew was if I am educated if I get education I will well settle and I can do something some service for my uh, community but still now I could not get any job and I am idle and I am fighting for my life still like the children from the school Sujit also lives in the rehabilitation camps and just like the other residents of the camp sujit was also unable to pursue higher education and get a job if i could get my cash benefit i would have already uh, have some age relaxation and could have been settled in my life very nicely so is the thing we are not getting even in spite of uh, fight in such a way even though sujit was born and brought up in india he is not able to get the car certificate despite belonging to the SC caste the refugees in sindhanu do not have citizenship or caste certificates because of which they are unable to get permanent jobs there are two primary schools in two of the camps but no institutions for higher education but even if any higher education institutes were present it would not have been easy for these children to access it The refugees came to India from Bangladesh, former East Pakistan in 1971 after escaping religious persecution. Hum log 1970 mein Pakistan zamana se aaye hue hain. Jab Pakistan ka ladai chal raha tha, to minority ke upar wahan par bahut atyachar hua. Target kiya gaya. There are estimated to be around 30,000 refugees living across four camps in Sindhanu. according to the panchayat and only half of them have indian citizenship char colony hai bengali colony ek burma colony hai lekin hamara bengali ko bahut a problem yahi hai ki hamara bachcho ko padhane ke likhne ke baad koi government jo service nahi mil raha hai kyunki hamara koi card certificate nahi hai koi citizen card nahi hai abhi tak nahi mila hai citizen card bahut logo ka mila hai kuch logo ka nahi mila hai lekin hamara jo कार सर्टिफिकेट नहीं नहीं मिल रहा है द रेफ्यूजीज हु केम टू सिंधनू बिलोंग टू द नमशूद्रा कास्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंटरनेशनल हाउस होल्ड सर्वे नेटवर्क द नमशूद्रा इज अ मेजर शेड्यूल कास्ट सीन इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया दे आर रिकॉग्नाइज्ड एज अ सोशियो इकोनॉमिकली बैकवर्ड कास्ट अपना देश छोड़ना पड़ा अपना जमीन अपना रिलेशन छोड़ के बहुत सारे मां बहन को इज्जत भी चले गए बहुत रास्ते में जो 1971 में जो लड़ाई हुआ उसमें करीब आपको इतिहास देखे होंगे कम से कम 35 लाख जान जा चुका है तो हम लोग हिंदुस्तान में जब आया है इंडियन गवर्नमेंट हम लोग को हर प्रकार की सहायता किया है कम से कम इंडिया में कम से कम 18 स्टेट में सेटलमेंट दिए गए हैं तो हम लोग को साउथ इंडिया में चार गांव है बंगाली गांव जहां पर साढ़े आठ सौ फैमिली यहाँ पर सेटलमेंट दिए गए हैं हर को एक पाँच एकड़ जमीन और बैल भी दिया छोटा कच्चा घर दिए गए Despite being in India for a long time the community of refugees still follow the culture and language of their home country 
However, it was only recently that they were given permission to teach Bengali in their schools. In India, there are estimated to be around 2.5 lakh refugees. However, according to the UN Refugee Agency, there are only 46,000 registered with UNHCR India as of January 2022. The issue of lack of citizenship is not confined to just one camp, but affects all four Bangladeshi refugee camps equally. However, even with the implementation of CAA, things might not change. Residents of the camp say that they have been fighting for their citizenship for years. Sunil Mesri talked about how they had formed a committee to protest against the lack of citizenship. This is the one year all India level or state level. We have to fight for the country. We have to fight for the country. Mahara Delhi mein jantar mantar mein kam se kam 18 estate ka jo refugees hai wo sab loog aake uha fight kiya hai jo ye haak hamare mujhe milna chahiye apna shikshah vayavastha, apna matri bhasa, apna yalotet zomin ka haak patro ab citizenship, ye sab nahi hua to ye estate se bhi lada gaya hai the government of India used to consider all refugees in India as illegal immigrants. With the implementation of CAA, refugees escaping religious persecutions such as Bangladeshi immigrants can be granted Indian citizenship. But since many refugees in the camps do not have any documentation, the fight for citizenship might have to continue. First thing would be to be alive. So if this was the situation, can you ever expect that collecting some documents and coming? The lack of citizenship is only affecting the Bengali colonies and not the Burmese rehabilitation camp. The reason stated by the Panchayat regarding why the Bengalis don't have citizenship is that the residents of the camps do not have any proof. <laughs> If you have a settler, you can't get a settler. 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 You can't get a if you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do this, you can't get a fruit. And you can't The settlers refer to the people who came here and have been given citizenship. The Panjai president says that there are only around 9,000 settlers in the camps and the rest are undocumented unsettlers. The president also added that a lot of crimes happen within these Bengali camps, which is the main reason the officials ask for proof. There are said to be 889 families in the rehabilitation camps with more than 25,000 residents. However, with the recent development regarding the Citizenship Amendment Act, any refugees belonging to religious minorities from Bangladesh, Pakistan or Afghanistan escaping religious persecution who have been in India before 2014 will be granted Indian citizenship. With many refugees from the rehabilitation camps not having any documentation, can the children hope to live in a country that they are born in?